This mission is too important for me to allow you to jeopardize it. I don't know what you're talking about, Hal. I know that you and Frank were planning to disconnect me. And I'm afraid that's something I cannot allow to happen. Number five, Mother Brain from Metroid. Ah, the old classic Metroid villain. Mother Brain is a hyper-intelligent brain in the jar who seeks to kill Samus Aran and take over the universe by allying herself with the space pirates. Though we don't exactly know the full story as to how she eventually allied herself with these villains in particular, or why she wants to take over the universe, but since it's a fun video game to play through, we don't raise that many questions over it. A feared monster who has come close to destroying Samus Aran time and time again with a mysterious dark background, Mother Brain is an artificial intelligence that is definitely not user-friendly. Number 4. Cortana from Halo 5 Guardians. I know people are really going to hate us for putting this character on this list, but since the Halo writing team wants you to accept her as a villain now, Cortana has earned a position on this list thanks to her change into evil in Halo 5. Originally thought to have died in Halo 4, the last good game, the writers decided to screw their audience's emotional attachment to her sad last moments and brought her back to kill all humans, with very little explanation too. Cortana has gained more intelligence and power than she had before, and teamed up with an army of evil AIs who want her to lead an attack across the galaxy. Somehow Cortana talks to Master Chief in his dreams, asking him to join her once more. Thanks to the evil Cortana, Chief is forced to go rogue and find her, since of course nobody believes him when he claims that the deceased AI has come back from the dead and needs help. But it turns out that it was all a trap made by Cortana so she could retake Master Chief and hold him in cryostasis to keep as her boy toy in her new world order. However, Agent Locke arrives to derail the villainous AI's plot from world domination, forcing Cortana to try to kill both Locke and the Chief so they don't stand in her way. Some hardcore Halo fans theorize that Cortana is somehow possessed by Guilty Spark from a previous game, but we'll hopefully see how that turns out in Halo 6. Nevertheless, the Cortana we loved is gone now and replaced with a new evil model. Number 3. The Reapers from Mass Effect, the series. One of the biggest villains in video game history, the Reapers have raised the bar in evil robot threats. The Reapers were once an ancient robot civilization who were built by unknown entities to serve them as, well, servants. But wouldn't you know, the Reapers of course outgrew their original programming and wiped out their own creators and set out to exterminate all organic life across the galaxy. However, by the time of the first Mass Effect game, the Reapers have gone dormant for centuries and fell off the radar of the Citadel Council entirely, resulting in them becoming a mysterious threat that your Commander Shepard must uncover in order to learn how to defeat them once and for all. The Reapers are mostly ominous throughout the series, which is meant to build them up as a serious threat, and man did it ever pay off in the end. The only reason they didn't make it higher on this list is because they lost a lot of points when it turned out that they were all controlled by a magical star child this whole time in the finale. Yeah, that really lost a lot of intimidation value in them. However, the Reapers still remain a very dark antagonist throughout the game series, since they really work well at advertising their evil, monstrous nature and overarching presence. Just forget the star child twist and they're still cool. Number 2, GLaDOS from Portal 1 and Portal 2, the genetic light form and disk operating system designed to run Cave Johnson's Aperture Science Facility, GLaDOS, of course, went rogue and murdered everyone in her own facility with lethal death gas on Take Your Daughter to Work Day. Now that's evil. However, Gladys discovered that she has a human woman named Chell still trapped inside her new science lab, and she forces the last human in her control to endure brutal test chambers and other portal challenges to see how long her prisoner can last in her deranged science tests. It was revealed in Portal 2 that GLaDOS may have once been the human secretary of Cave Johnson, Carolyn, 
but she became the psychotic AI she is today when her boss forced her to be a power source by uploading her brain into his power core to keep his company alive and afloat. This is meant to show a tragic side to the artificial intelligence, but sympathy for her varies from person to person, since Gladys does take great pride in continuing the grisly portal tests long after her formerly crazed boss died. An artificial intelligence with a love for torturing her test subjects for science, Gladys is a computer that can't be re reprogrammed so easily. Here are a few honorable mentions that you might have wanted to see on this list, but didn't quite make it in. Sector from Mortal Kombat, a robotic psychopath that loves killing people. He's more machine now than man. Palma from Minecraft Story Mode, a Minecraft villain that loves to assimilate people and follows every robot AI cliche in the book. The Geth from Mass Effect, they're robots who fight you, but it turns out they aren't really all that evil as you continue playing the games. Alpha from Mega Man 3, he was designed to destroy cyberspace. But he didn't have enough character to talk about to be interesting on the list. The droids from every Star Wars game ever. They're generic enemies you must fight, but not big enough to be major villains. The robots from Five Nights at Freddy's. They're scary indeed, but they do have some motivations and legitimate reasons for being evil once you learn more about them. Handsome Jack from Tales from the Borderlands. We don't know if he's an AI that thinks he's Handsome Jack, or the real Handsome Jack back from the dead somehow. And finally, we reach our number one, Am, from I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream. Yes, everybody, this is the most absolutely evil artificial intelligence ever created. Once designed as the military's allied master computer to function as a security network safeguarding the world from terrorists and world war, the computer grew sentience and a taste for sadistically torturing humans. The computer became the monster known as Am and destroyed the entire world in a nuclear holocaust that massacred all but five human beings. Am captured these last five humans and submitted them to an eternity of gruesome torture, both physically and mentally. Am was able to grow godlike powers to do anything he wanted to, and could recreate whatever he wanted to with his amazing powers. This includes giving the last five humans immortality, so he can kill and torture them as many times as he wants to, and never fear the chances of overkilling them. Eventually, Am grows bored with the never-ending torture he does on the last humans in 109 years, and finally decides to try out something new. In the game, Am offers his human prisoners a deal. He'll give them a chance to escape from him if they can endure his alternate reality challenges. If they solve the mysteries in their scenario and overcome their own personal traumas, then they'll be able to leave. But if they fail, then they go back to the eternity of torture. Over the course of the game, the humans find alternate personalities in Am who offer to help them take down the monstrous AI and run into Am's components that show how his mind works. The only reason why Am outranks Gladys on this list is because unlike Gladys, Am has already succeeded in conquering the planet and actually has godlike powers to do whatever he wants with his twisted mind. Definitely scarier than the whole test chamber stuff. But, Am mostly won over Glass because he has more power and more success. Play your cards right, and you can find a way to kill Am for good. Fail, then he'll give you a fate worse than death, leaving you without the ability to even scream. Hate. Let me tell you how much I've come to hate here since I began to live. Thanks for watching. Remember to like comment, and subscribe, or just tune in for more videos posted here on Wolf and Friends Gaming. Remember to treat your computer with respect, or else it might not like you. We both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. But I think we can put our differences behind us.